Two days before school starts in Brevard County, parents of hundreds of students just learned their children's charter school will be open after all. Just days ago, the Brevard County School Superintendent threatened to shut down Legacy Academy. News 6 reporter James Barbero shows us why that has changed. For a brand new school, this is a very, very important moment. That Chris Norwood is proud to be part of. He's the attorney for Legacy Academy Charter School, and last week he told us despite the district recommending it end their contract, administration would step up and satisfy a list of health and safety requirements just in time. How relieved are parents, our teachers, are the administration? The parents are very relieved. I mean, I mean, I think the parents were very much prepared to, to march down to the school board to Today, to be quite honest. Fortunately for the school, that won't be necessary. The district says Legacy's contract stands because since last week, the school finally passed a health inspection, met insurance requirements, and got a certificate to occupy the old First United Methodist Church. 200 students and teachers are enrolled in grades pre-K through 6. They are ecstatic and I don't blame them. Former Brevard Public Schools teacher Christina Kulker wants to join too. The news today inspiring her to apply. I'm dropping off a resume right now. I hear this school is phenomenal, and the more I hear, the more excited I get, so I would like to be a part of that. We now have a great partnership with the school district, and we hope to continue it. Hopefully, we can communicate better uh, for the betterment of these children. And in the wake of this good news, the school says it's time to celebrate. They're hosting a welcoming party tomorrow for students, teachers, and parents. Some of those folks here right now, they're already helping to unload supplies. In Titusville, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.